Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 8, Lesson 1, Packaging a Project. In this lesson, we'll describe the purpose of build checks, we'll demonstrate common build checks, we'll describe the packaging process, and then we'll demonstrate packaging a project. I'm here in Unreal Engine, and I'm in my Ball Maze game, and I've put a lot of work into it, and I'll show a lot of these updates in a future lesson but I'm at the point in creating this game where maybe I want to start distributing it to others for play testing. And depending on who I'm going to distribute it to, I may not want to give them access to my project files, either because they're not familiar with Unreal Engine or because I want to keep those project files safe. And Unreal Engine provides us the opportunity to distribute our project in a way that others can experience it without needing access to the project files directly. And the first part of distributing the project is that we need to build it. And when working with Unreal Engine, it's common to build your game before you package it. Build checks allow developers to fine tune the look and feel of the game before packaging the project for distribution. The goal is to maximize the player's experience. And in Unreal Engine, this means that the code will be compiled to include any recent changes, lighting is constructed to ensure accuracy, and many more things depending on what's included in your project. For instance, navigation, landscapes, nanite, and many other things. And technically, you don't need to build a game before you package it, but it is a common practice and I do highly recommend it let's demonstrate some common build checks. So I'm back here again in my ball maze project. And if we go to the top, there's a menu called build. And if we drop this down, we can see many options became available to us. A common build is to build the lighting in our level before we package it. You may have seen in one of your projects, a warning that appears in the viewport that says lighting needs to be rebuilt. And this is usually caused because you have static meshes in your project and the mobility is set to static, which means that Unreal Engine expects those meshes not to move and you can rebuild the lighting in your level to be optimized. And this really helps with performance at runtime. So if you have a lot of assets in your level, like houses that are never gonna be moving, you can easily optimize the performance of your game by setting these to static and then rebuilding the lighting. Now, this is a pretty basic level, so this should only take a few seconds. I can go to build and then build lighting only, and it says it's only gonna pre-compute lighting for all levels. And if I go down to lighting quality, I can see that there's a few different options. Preview is the fastest, and it's just gonna do a really quick check. And then we have medium, high, and production. I'm gonna set this to production because we wanna package this project, and then I'll go to build lighting only. And like I said, this project is pretty basic, so that was fairly quick. But in a game with a lot of assets, that would take much longer, especially if you had some complex lighting elements in your level. Another common build check Another common one is to build landscape if you have some landscapes in your project. Or if you're using Nanite, you can build out the Nanite in your project. Another option is just to say build all levels. And if we hover over this, it says pre-computes lighting data and visibility data, generates navigation networks and updates brush models. So this will do a variety of builds all at once. So we can select this. And again, this project is pretty basic, so that only took a short amount of time. But in a larger project, that would take substantially longer. Once we have the build done and we've optimized the look and feel of our game, it's time to package our project. And packaging formats the project content into a distributable file. There are multiple platforms available by default in Unreal Engine. And in addition to that, there's multiple configurations available. So if you want to distribute the project to an internal debugging team or even an external beta, you can package the project in different configurations that will still include some of the features available through Unreal Engine. 
and specifically, this will give the user access to console commands that they can input into the project to try to debug different things. And you may also see the term cooking or hear it in conversations surrounding packaging a project. And in Unreal Engine, what this means is that we're preparing all of the game's assets for distribution. As the projects get larger, packaging the project can take some time. So you can cook the project, which means you're setting everything up ahead of time so that the packaging goes more smoothly and doesn't take as much time. Let's demonstrate packaging a project for distribution via Windows. I'm here in my Ball Maze game, and if I go to Platforms and select the dropdown, you can see that there's some various options available. We have Android, iOS, Linux, another Linux build, tvOS, and then Windows. And if we hover over this, we can see that there are two options at the top, Package Project, which will create that package project file for us, and Cooked Content, which again, will do all of that pre-computation ahead of the packaging. And then here again, we see this binary configuration and there's a few options here, debug game, development, or shipping. Now, if you wanna know more about the difference between debug and development, I recommend you read the Unreal Engine documentation. There are some subtle differences, but for most people, they're gonna be essentially the same. So my recommendation is just to use development. This will give you access to a lot of those console commands. And depending on the team, you can even distribute some console commands to them to let them try various things when they're debugging your project. So when I'm ready, I'll select package project. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to put this project file? Now, I recommend you select a place where they'd be easy to find. I have a folder on an external drive called packaged games where I like to keep these files and that way they don't take up space when I'm getting ready to distribute them. So when I'm ready, I'm going to say select folder and we'll see in the bottom, it says packaging project for windows and we can select show output log and it shows us what it's doing. It's going to go through the project and it's going to prepare everything one file at a time. And depending on the size of your project, this could take some time. So it's best to let this start going and come back periodically to check on it. 